Okay. We are in this file. And let's look at our layers because this is a layer structure we haven't seen yet. We have our background layer. It's italicized in locks. That's where our pixels live. If we turn that off, we can see we have an orange tie. And then we have this blank layer of tie designs. And this is called a clipping mask. When you have one layer that is clipped in or indented into another, it will allow you to draw all over tie designs and only what appears in the tie you'll see. So let me show you. If I hit B for brush, and I just draw all over that, you can only see what's in this tie because it is clipped in. Now, if I release it by holding down the Option key, notice how the cursor changes when it is between these two layers. You'll see what I did. So what this is doing is clipping it in and it will clip into the pixels of the layer below. So it's another way to make a localized adjustment. I'm going to hit Option and hover between the layer that has the information I want to clip into the layer below. And you'll see that little icon, downward arrow, and it will clip in. Let me show you when this uh, might be something that you use. We'll go back to Michael Fassbender. I'm going to grab the text tool, draw a big box, and type my name. Let's make it make it a big uh, chunky font. And then we'll make it a little smaller. All right. And we'll just make it as big as we can. Come on, little guy. I want to adjust you. It's not letting me. Come on. Little corner. We saw that. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So there's my name. Wouldn't it be cool if Michael Fassbender lived in my name? <laughs> I'm, I'm all right with it. Any protests? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so what I need to do is set up my file for that. I can select the background and copy it and put what I want in this layer above it. So I can't see my name, but I will in a second. I'm going to turn off my background layer, hover between these two layers, hit Option, and then he goes inside. This is a great way to apply textures to things, to put images in text. And if you grab the Move tool, you can move the Fast Bender around. If you grab this layer, the type layer, you can move Amy around. That's pretty good right there. Okay. You can also double click to change that size or font. So this is kind of a cool effect. And that's exactly what they're doing here, right? So we've got tie orange. If I make a new layer on top by pressing this new layer icon at the bottom of the layer panel, or going up to layer, new layer, let's name this tie designs. I think it helps to kind of reverse engineer it so you can see how they did it. Grab the brush. Now that is not exactly in the tie. If you look at this layer, all that lives on this layer is that orange. So let's click between these two layers, holding down the Option or the Alt key, and then this goes to live in the layer below as a clipping mask. You can see in your history panel what just happened. Let me talk up to our history panel for just a second. If you want to go back, instead of doing Control Z, you can just click up one. So say I don't want to create this clipping mask. I don't even need to grab it and drag it to the trash. 
I can just click above it to where I want it to go. All right, so that clicking above it will get rid of all of these steps below. Okay, and we talked just very briefly in one of the other videos about going to the file preferences, file handling, uh, performance, and changing the history states. In this case, if I wanted to keep name change but get rid of these other three, I can't because it's linear. You have the option of going to this little pull down menu here at the top of the history panel and saying history options, allow non-linear history and hit OK. And in that case, you can grab one from anywhere in there. All right. Some people prefer to work that way. I think it's a little quicker to work linearly, but that's totally up to you. Those options again are in history options. And there's a couple other options for snapshots that we will discuss later. All right, any questions? No. How do you do the clipping maps, like with the squares next to each other? So if I have tie designs mm -hmm. and tie orange, mm -hmm. with any tool selected, hover between the layer that you um, want to go in and the layer that is going to be the container, right? So this is like a lunchbox and this is like a thermos. Mm -hmm. Hold down the option key and hover between them and this icon will appear. And click. And when you see this little indent with this downward facing arrow, it's saying, hey, I now live in here. This is underlined, telling you that these two layers are now functioning as a clipping mask. Can you make a clipping mask from the same layer? Like on the orange uh, tie layer? You need, you need it to have a place to go. So like here, this picture is going into uh -huh. Amy. You could also use layer masks to do oh, this, but it would take considerably longer. Yeah. Okay. Does it matter if the, or if the clipping mask is above or below? Yes. yes. Okay. Has to be above. Oh, it has to be above. Has to be above. If it's below, you can try an option click and it's not going to do anything. Okay. It'll clip. It'll make a clipping mask, but you won't get the effect. It's got to be above. Okay. All right.